Are you Japanese? I'm Dom and I'm from the States. I speak Japanese and I love Attack of Titan. Would love to take you out on a date sometime. And then they send this back which says I'm not Japanese in Japanese. Sorry, I don't speak Chinese. What? Bro, it literally took me four seconds to Google Translate that. Why couldn't you do the same? I really admire the confidence in these neckbeards. Like, all you've said, dude, is, are you Japanese? Here's my name, and I'm from the States. I would love to take you on a date sometime. <laughs> what makes you think from that information that they're going to want to go on a date? For you see, I am a man, and I'm from the States, and I obviously don't speak Japanese, but you are my princess, and I need you. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I always try to be positive, but <laughs> I don't see a happy ending here. Just a neck beard things. We're doing it again today. I'm super excited, motivated, pumped, everything that... <laughs> I'm just excited, okay? This is one of my favorite subreddits by far, and it's going to be a good video. So many gentlemen and so many nice guys and so many combinations of the both. I love neck beards. Okay, I don't want to waste any of your time today. Let's get right into it. Just neck beard things. Let's go. Oh, of course, it's another Pokemane tweet. 25. Happy birthday. You sent $1,000 to Pokimane. <laughs> really? Hey, everybody, my birthday's gone. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, nah, I've already had my birthday. It's the 9th of February. But for real, surely that's a joke. Like, does she have her PayPal just like out in the open? I suppose you do from like streams and stuff. And some guy just sends her $1,000. <laughs> you know, like it is pretty sad. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll try not to think about that. Gentlemen, one of the key tools to making a woman submit to you is to ha- oh, First of all, before we even go any further, you should not be talking about making a woman submit to you. That is icky. Is to have the overall financial advantage over her. If you're in peak financial health compared to her, make her dependent on you. Introduce her to a lifestyle that she wouldn't be able to afford on her own. Whenever she steps out of line, make her realize that. Take a mental note of every financial endeavors you have done for her and list them off to her. Once you make her realize that you are the breadwinner and that she isn't crap without you, she will back down and continue to obey your every whim, crush her self-esteem whenever possible. This is how you establish control, fellas. No, they're joking, right? No, they're not, are they? <laughs> I'm going to cry. Dude, what is your problem? Crush her self-esteem whenever possible. How shallow do you think women are? You just flexing your money on her is not going to make her submit to you. I feel gross even saying that. Oh, some people are out of their mind. That's insane. And also, I'm not taking dating advice from someone on Facebook. Now, hiring help for my new apparel line. You must meet this criteria. One, must be pro-America. Two, must must be female, four, must be fit and hot, five, must be smart, six, must be at least a C cup, must make lunch, and must live in the San Diego area. Yuck, what? You must be at least a C cup? That's on there? <laughs> and this guy thinks that that's okay to say? Oh no. Must be a female, must be fit and hot, must be smart, and must be at least a C cup, and must make me lunch. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in disbelief. How do people like this exist? Oh, more Pokimane. Okay, so she posted these photos on Twitter and we have a response. Hello, my queen. I was wondering if your closet is available to live in. I would pay my whole life savings as rent. Okay, so obviously somebody making fun of, you know, her simps. If not, just living under your bed or in your bathroom is fine with me. Please respond to me. This is a serious inquiry. Have a great day, my my lady. <laughs> like that was so accurate. <laughs> I almost feel like it's not a joke. The amount of guys out there that want to live in Pokimane's closet, it's probably in like the high hundreds of thousands. <laughs> I wouldn't even be surprised. And also how much life savings do you have? Because this could be a really good business proposition. You know, like Pokimane doesn't have to use that closet anymore. She could just lock it off, <laughs> put like a little window in there. This one has nothing but the photo. There's no writing with this 
everyone. We just have to look at this glorious photo. Like, oh my god, my dreams are coming true. <laughs> I dreamt about this last night. Two miladies making out in front of me. Do you think that's what the case is? Do you think he's in disbelief that, like, that's actually happening? Or do you think he's sad that they're not kissing him? Oh, can't you tell how sexy I find a guy who complains about video games on the internet all day? I just want to screw him all night long. What is that from? That must be so funny. You know, like the saddest part is neckbeards actually think that this person exists and <laughs> and like, oh, if I only go to Japan, the wonderland of women that are just going to do everything I say, I swear they're hanging onto this idea that like there are women out there that are just going to love the way that they act, <laughs> especially all the bad stuff that they do and say. And yeah, I don't like your chances, man. You know, complaining about video games on the internet, that's one thing. But the other things that neckbeards do, the misogynistic, gross stuff, the awful stuff. Yeah, that's not gonna fly. No way. A Yu-Gi-Oh dirt dueler, shower gel deodorant, and a soap on a rope. That's so funny. <laughs> like, listen, guys, you need to shower. <laughs> and if having a Yu-Gi-Oh shower gel is gonna make you clean yourself, so be it. Like that post from that really early neckbeards video where it was like, it's sexy to shower. Your anime princess would like it if you smelt your best. Oh my god, this is an ask reddit post you know what slayers of reddit how should ugly guys talk to girls online to at least get a response asking for a friend uh first tell this friend that if they want to become you know what slayers they need to stop using the term you know what slayers yeah dude what and you're not joking i'm scared <laughs> okay so these are comments on a tiktok of some japanese school girls wow anime girls singing nice anime girls oh my god anime IRL waifus. Ni hao. Baka baka. Anime IRL. Oh my god. Anime. No. The human beings. <laughs> Weirdos. <laughs> oh my god. It's anime. <laughs> I'd really like to know what a lot of Japanese girls would think about these sorts of guys. Probably wouldn't be good. Anime girls spit. <laughs> oh that's gonna sell out fast. <laughs> okay so no one's buying vanilla so just call it anime girl spit. Whoa it's flying off the shelves. Oh, I caught the wife making tacos. She's the best. <laughs> Aw, how sweet. Don't you just love it when your anime body pillow cooked you dinner? Ah, life is truly good, isn't it? I'm looking for a girlfriend. It's mandatory that you watch anime or something so we can actually have decent conversations. I don't like therapy, religion, Black Lives Matter, LGBT, people who go to college, you know what, eating, you know... Bipolar people, liberals, people with depression, judgmental, antisocial, and any other people who look for reasons to be antisocial. <laughs> he just actually put judgmental in there. After saying this, send your Skype invite so we can talk on voice or I'm going to block and report you. Insult me once and you're out of my life, not a troll. Download Kick and Skype to add me. Send your Skype or you're blocked and reported, no DMs read. 18 up only, don't talk to me unless you're meeting up in real life and the final freaking warning no skype equals freaking blocked and reported i don't give a damn about anything else 18 plus only message me to insult and block me and i'm freaking reporting you anything you freaking say to me is going to be used against you and here's my kick holy buddy you're never gonna get anywhere with that if somebody reads that they're gonna run the other way and fair enough too you've said nothing about yourself dude. Like, why would somebody want to date you from reading that? These sorts of neckbeards just expect that women are gonna line up and want to date them. That's probably why you're having trouble, dude. Hard to swallow pills. If cat girls existed, they'd reject you like normal women do. Oh, and now that we've learnt the sad truth, I think the only thing that can cheer us up is some wholesome memes. Random guy who called me king on the internet? Me. Ah, <laughs> Thank you. Like, I love little compliments like that. They make the rest of your day so much better. Like, you're just in a better mood. My best friend joking about not eating all day. Me already at their front door with pizza. No, I think that's the only time I've seen this meme format, like, in a wholesome way.
way. Friendship, how beautiful. Look, I got a new Tupperware. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so old and boring. New Tupperware? This is such a useful size. Think of all the things that we can keep in here. Yeah, I totally love this. <laughs> I love containers. I really do. I'm such a bloody hoarder. Like, not a gross hoarder. Like a collector, I should say. But like, I just have to have like heaps of everything. Like I've recently sort of started to get into watches and like, of course, I'm buying a new watch all the time. <laughs> and now I need to buy a box for the watches and I need to organize them. And I bought a couple of pairs of different sunglasses and like different glasses because I wear glasses. And now I need a box for them. And <laughs> it just goes on and on and on. And what I'm trying to say is you should not feel ashamed about being excited about Tupperware. When is he coming? When's he coming? When is he? Oh my God. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. <laughs> the mailman. Yeah, I've got to get a dog. I've been waiting way too long. Like, I like my cats, but you know, they're just not a big, beautiful dog. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, all that fun stuff. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I post videos at least once a day, usually twice a day. And I hope you enjoy your stay. Wow, I'm a rapper. I've just been reading comments, guys, on my latest Men Riding Women video, and they're all so nice. Like, you guys rock. I'm so lucky. Like, for real, can you guys go and read the comments on my Men Riding Women video? Like, they're all so sweet. What did I do to deserve you guys? Like this one here, the comment of the day from Alyssa Hopper. I don't know what I would do without the wholesome memes after these. I really don't. Oh, no, 100%. They've become a staple on the channel. We have to do them after every video. I think the wholesome meme started with the incel videos, didn't they? Which I haven't actually done in a while. I better do an incel video soon. But yeah, it is really nice to end the videos on a light note. And yeah, I'll keep it up. All right, guys, thank you for everything you do. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a wonderful night. And I'll see you tomorrow.